beautiful souls thank you for joining me today for this beautiful channeled message from the divine masculine to the divine feminine i do hope you're all well and you're staying focused believing and trusting in that deep inner knowing that unexplainable love is within you so i'm bringing in the divine masculine 101s from beautiful liz from guided by angels to see what's going to come through in this moment so that one flipped out my feelings for you are real so if you're doubting yourself, Divine Feminine, this is <laughs> your Divine Masculine coming through strong here, reassuring you of what you already know. My feelings for you are real. Don't question yourself, Divine Feminine. Everything that you're feeling, I'm feeling too. So... There's a, a, you know, um, a, this message come in with a rush, you know, there's this, uh, I can't think of the word that I'm thinking, I can't think of the word, this um, urgency, that's the word I'm thinking of, come in quickly to, to, to reassure you, and this one flipped out, please forgive me for ignoring you, I'm sorry I ignored you. Don't doubt yourself because I ignored you. Don't take it personally that I ignored you. Please forgive me. I have taken in everything that you've said. And this could be through, you know, a phone conversation or a text message that you've sent your divine mask and they just haven't responded to you. They've just totally blanked you. That's for a reason. And I know we don't want to hear that divine then because we just want to hear all the lovey-dovey stuff about, you know, what the Divine Musculines have got to say, but by your Divine Musculine ignoring you, it's brought up so much within you. <laughs> it's triggered you and it's activated, you know, all of your insecurities, it's, it's um, your rejection wounds, that abandonment wound, it's been opened. The areas that you've been ignoring yourself, you've been, like... <laughs> trying to show up and give those areas love and attention um, because everything that your divine must in what happens in the 3d in the physical is just a reflection of what's going on within you as well because they're feeling exactly the same so by them ignoring you they're ignoring themselves as well they're they're trying to avoid um, a situation um, but they don't want you to feel um, upset or to take this personally because they're not ignoring you they're dealing with themselves and it's been helping you as well deal with what's you know that needs to be addressed within you but it doesn't mean to say that the feelings that you have for each other aren't real because your divine masculine feelings aren't real and they may not have ever shared that with you or they may have shared it with you and they're like no i don't i've changed my mind I, I, I take back what I said, I didn't mean it, I got it wrong. That is all a load of rubbish. <laughs> and that knowing if, you, if your divine masculine hasn't uh, shared their truth with you yet, that knowing you have is real. Um, they feel exactly the same. So what else that one flipped out as well? I long for you. I long for you. I know I've ignored you. But... That's because I haven't felt as if I can come forwards because I've had so much going on in my life and there's so many things that I'm having to face within myself. But I hope that you're, you can forgive me and I hope that you can be patient with me of everything that is going on, but not physically being with you. I do long to be with you. I want everything sorted out. Um, so... Oh my goodness, okay, the cards were doing this um, a lot recently and I'm sure it was in another DM to DF that I did. I want you in my life. I want you in my life because I long for you. And again, when you're not with yourself, Divine Feminine, you long to be with yourself. And you're having to forgive yourself for the, for the parts that you've been ignoring within you. <laughs> Those, those parts of you are heightened and you have to face those things and you have to soothe those parts of you. 
Um, you don't, that you're so unaware of where you was ignoring yourself. And the feelings that you truly have for yourself are real. And that's what why it felt so flipping good when this person came into your life because you felt this love for yourself. You felt amazing through this physical person of what it truly is to be you. And at the bottom of the deck is you make me feel safe and warm. Yeah, when you're with yourself, when your divine masculine energy, your divine feminine energy is showing up within yourself, you feel safe and warm. You feel as if you can do anything. Um, and your divine masculine, this physical person that's come into your life, they, you make them feel safe and warm. They feel complete and whole. They experience the same as what you experience when you come into each other's life. And they want to, to be close to you. They want to hold you, for you to hold each other um, and to feel this warmth, <laughs> to feel safe. But you're both learning to do that individually, not physically being with each other. So you can actually come together and enjoy each other and cherish each other. That doesn't mean to say that they're not longing for you because they're not physically with you. They are longing and they miss you so much. And don't doubt yourself to one thing because this is truly so real. <laughs> what you're feeling and they feel it too. So I'm bringing the Divine Musk in Secrets, my deck now. So what else is coming through Divine Masculine? What have you got to share? What more is it you want to share? Nice, clear message. <clears throat> thinking about our lives together makes me feel ecstatic. I get so excited when I'm thinking about this new adventure. <clears throat> Us being together, spending the rest of our life together, being free. With all this behind us, I think about it a lot. I daydream about you. It makes me smile. And at times it makes me feel very sad. And I get quite emotional because I do long for that right now. But there are things I'm still working through. I'm having to forgive myself of where I've been ignoring myself, denying myself. I'm having to forgive myself of the way I've behaved with you as well, to my feminine. Um, and let's see what else. I'll be in touch very soon. Yeah, I will be in touch very soon. And that comes through quite a lot. There is so much this divine masculine wants to share and express. Um, and, and I'm feeling they've got so many ideas about your future, what you're going to get up to. <laughs> and they're longing to actually work as a team and actually get this relationship up, up and running now. Um, I think about this all the time. And they're so much more open, this divine masculine, and there is fear coming through. I feel empty when you're not with me, yeah. I do feel empty when you're not with me. I know I've been the one that's pushed you away. I know I've been the one that hasn't been communicating and it seems as if I've been ignoring you, but I've been in a lot of pain. I felt so empty. I haven't felt worthy of you, so that's why I've pushed you away. That's why I haven't been in touch with you. And we do have to go so deep, divine feminines, to be able to understand that because it is very frustrating for me, eco mind, because it's like, if you want, you know, if you're longing for me and you feel empty, why aren't you here? But that's because what's going on right now <laughs> and however it's making you feel with your divine masculine, not being with you in the physical, you're having to work through those things. You're learning to fulfill yourself and understanding that nothing outside of you can fix your, to, to can fix you. Um, and that's what your divine masculine is doing as well. But when they're not with themselves, when their divine feminine, divine masculine energy is out of balance, that's when they feel empty. <laughs> when they're choosing themselves, allowing themselves to feel this love, so they're allowing to receive and they're in their sacred divine masculine energy. They do feel whole and that's how they felt with you because um, that's what you experience when you come together. Um, and then we come out of it. Our preparation is coming to an end. There you go. Our preparation is coming to an end. 
love yourself so I can love you too, Divine Feminine. That's such a precious message. And that is a very deep message as also because when we see love yourself, we think, well, yeah, I, you know, I'm going to do this, I'm going to do that for myself. But it is so much more than just treating yourself or buying your, you know, like going for a massage or something like that. This is about really loving yourself making the changes that you've been putting off for such a long time, allowing yourself to feel, to take this responsibility of yourself. And when you're loving yourself, when you're really with yourself, this physical person will show you how much they love you. Um, they really want to show you and they're saying to you, this preparation is coming to an end. I don't want to long for you anymore. I don't want to feel empty without you anymore. So I'm doing everything in my power to face what it is within me, to forgive myself, to allow myself to know that I am good enough to receive you and to know that I am capable of being the best version of myself. Um, and at times it's been scary. But what I do is I daydream and think about how amazing it's going to be by me making these changes and us being together and for me to be able to really show up in my truth and give you the best version of myself and to experience this real true love what we both experience when we come into each other's life on that very first day so thank you so much for joining me that's a beautiful channeled message from the divine masculine i do hope it's made you smile and i hope it's helped you understand more what's going on with you this physical person and more about the journey and what's going on right now things are coming to an end beautiful soul and you're so you're getting so in touch with yourself and you know that that's when your divine counterpart your twin flame your divine masculine will get in touch and this isn't about holding on to that as well not going, oh my goodness, aligning with my soul said to me, you know, my divine muscle is going to be in touch very soon. This preparation is coming to an end. That's, that's coming from ego. That's coming from your mind. This is about, you, you know, everything that I've shared, you know already. And it's not about holding on to it. It's about just understanding. It's about you focusing on yourself and not getting distracted by what this physical person's doing or what they're not doing. Your preparation is coming to an end. Um, and you're getting so very, very close to home. Um, so let go of any attachments. And when you're thinking about this physical person, just smile to yourself and know that the reason why this physical person coming into your life is to wake you up to the greatest love of all and that is to love yourself and that you are one and you haven't got to worry about when they're in touch and when they're not in touch because when you're in tune with yourself when you're in tune with god with the universe you know that they're being touched in divine timing um so i do hope that that has supported you and if you would like support on your awakening journey on your twin flame journey and you'd like to work with me, I am offering one-to-one -one sessions, private readings. My email is Zoe aligning with my soul at gmail.com. But everything that you do need to know is in the description box down below. And most importantly, stay focused to believe and trust in that deep inner knowing, that unexplainable love that's within you. And if you haven't subscribed already, don't forget to subscribe, like and share because it really does help my channel grow. That's if you feel connected to me and you understand me. And make sure you hit that notification bell so my readings reach you. And I'm sending you so much love, my support, my strength and light. And I love you so very much. Sing. Oh, what's your soul saying?